is Dr. Cox uh, here with another update uh, regarding uh, the coronavirus. So um, we're having more uh, research that's being produced both in other countries and here in the United States about coronavirus and its effect on children. And uh, a recent uh, publication from the CDC just uh, about a week or two ago um, summarized the first 2,500 cases uh, of uh, coronavirus infection in children. Uh, one interesting part of that is um, that even though kids uh, make up about 20% of the U.S. population, uh, and I made a tower to represent that here, so kids make up about 20% of the U.S. population in total. This is children under 18 years of age. But of the total cases in children of the United States to this point, only 2% of those cases have been in children compared to the 20% of the population they comprise. And that's a lot lower than you would have guessed, than I would have guessed. Now you might wonder and think, well, maybe that's just because we're not testing children as much. And that might be the case in some areas of the country. Um, but here in the state of Utah, we're also finding that for those who are tested for COVID-19, so for all age groups that are tested, uh, about 5% of them are positive for that virus. So that's about one in 20 are positive for the virus. Now that's compared, so that's 5% in Utah, but in the rest of the United States, that number is about 20% that are testing positive. So it doesn't seem like it's really common in Utah, but even less common in children. So here in Utah, of those who have been tested, of children less than 18 years of age who've been tested, only two to 3% of those children have tested positive. And that's a lot lower than for adults. So it's not necessarily that we're not testing kids. It does seem that kids seem to be less likely to get this virus. And we don't know why that is. Uh, now here at Alpine Pediatrics, we've tested over 100 children for COVID-19 and only two of those have been positive to this point. So again, about 2%. Uh, as a reminder, any uh, child who has symptoms uh, of COVID-19 infection, so fever, cough, body aches, those kids are being sent to our Orem office or we're just evaluating them over telehealth to determine if they need to be tested for that virus. So if you're going to come to our Pleasant Grove office, our Lehigh office, or our Saratoga Springs office, you're not going to be in the same room as those who uh, may have symptoms of that virus. Um, Please, uh, if your kid hasn't been in for a well visit uh, in the last bit and is due for one, please come in. Uh, so the American Academy of Pediatrics and the CDC are very much emphasizing the need to continue with those well visits so that we can have your kid in to make sure that we're up to date on immunizations. And so uh, if it's been a while since your child's been in for a, a well visit, please come and see us. We've got uh, a lot of availability right now and we'd be happy to see you. We'll be back uh, in time for another update. Please visit our website too for any other updates. Thank you.